let's see how we go trying a little bit of a different opening here see how we crack on with this I'm going to push this one okay lovely job legs okay so what we're going to do is just develop the bishop here we'll be tantalizing this at some stage let's bring the knight out support with the bishop making space for castling and off we go castle king safety king is home alone now so we need to be careful of that let's bring the bishop here maybe we can bring it in support it's a bit going to be a bit jammed in but i'm sure we can make it work let's give the king some company Okay, so the king hasn't got company for long. I suppose we could bring it here, we don't have to take. But simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically, it's no problem. His king is going to be very home alone when they go and castle. So he's actually blocked in the queen, so he's um, two moves behind in a sense in terms of getting his big guns out. So he's made one move, he's looking to potentially come and disturb the bishop here could bring the bishop and get active and attack the knight could push the pawn here just to stop the knight I suppose it doesn't stop it because if we took then his queen would take the pawn back and is in, in our area so we're going to have to leave that so we said we were going to tantalise this pawn so let's tantalise here while they're building up their attack towards our king area simply going to take just see if we can open up this file it's kind of giving them something to think about I think really they potentially in my head I'm thinking the worst case scenario would be that they do do this attack so that's what they should do if they were going to build so I'm going to bring the rook here and he's castled okay so rooks don't have any place in the center of the board but uh, that got go there the knights there at the minute so we could develop our knight looking for this sort of activity again still this is the power base for them attacking our king area they're not doing that just yet don't want to get the knight trapped though it can go in here it's not really attacking anything uh, it does have an outposty type thing here and then it can give company to my king it's got a safety zone here let's do that all depends on what the opponent wants to do we're very mindful this is their strong base really and there's not much we can do about it and I'm trying to get my pieces to help out my king area that's all key so is I'm um, bringing the rook so is, we're giving them things to think about does that store does that change the story um, no because our knight's not doing anything there rook could come here but it's not going to do much bishop can attack his knight nope let's continue with the story and get some company for our king we don't have anything direct to attack our queen is on the back stuck really could look to start doing this type of thing and hopefully getting the queen here but once this knight moves then these pawns are going to be yep so the knight moves we do capture the queen does co um, come into the area but it's not got the support of this knight so he's going to have to transfer this knight over at some point okay right so feel a little bit happier with that situation could attack the knight now but that's just going to bring them in so it's bringing them closer in to where they want to be so he'll just attack the bishop 
but maybe we do something like this or we protect with this pawn but then he's going to push this pawn it's still trying to open up our king area so very mindful maybe just bring the queen here then when the knight comes oh they've not attacked that was our area of concern big style wasn't it so the opponents retracted the attack on this area so we could take the knight off the board quite simply i'm just taking the knight off the board so that's got rid of that threat on our king side because we focused on trying to make sure our king wasn't home alone now i think ownership of this file file is going to be key with the rooks I don't think he's going to allow us to do it though so he's going to go and we're going to be behind on time so the rooks queen ooh we're not so do I stay still on the white square I think I'm staying on the white square give me enough time to come here because his queen's on a white square so if he's trying to jump in the middle we can take it idea being doubling up on the rooks but I think they should see this already shouldn't they so by the time I come here then at least he can take but we're owning the file with the rook for the he's attacking oh he's attacking the pawn as well he's attacking the pawn as well so we have to do this and if he forgets himself the rook can take the queen it has happened in the past I've seen it okay so he's moved his queen backwards and forwards single attack I think they should have focused on this but um, I might be wrong So owning the file is key definitely in this. So we can take and it's exchanging. So the queen's going to end up owning the file. So I'm going to bring our queen here now. And see whether or not he does exchange. If not, start moving. Oh, he does. Okay, so we're owning the file. But he's potentially coming in here. Oh, and they've resigned. Yay. Okay, let's have a look at the situation. But it's a draw. Oh, it's minus minus point one, minus point two. Jump to a zero. And it's a draw again. Oh, they just didn't want to go to an end game, then did they? So it was a draw, basically. Excellent. So we opened. Tried a different opening. You know, we usually go e4. Went for e3 this time. That small difference can make a whole difference <laughs> if you don't play it right. So the opponent's looking to grab a bit more centre with their pawns. So we now start pushing forward. Gage Bow doesn't like our opening at the minute, but we feel fairly comfortable. And yes, we did say at some point we're going to attack the head of the snake. There's no issues here. I know they say you should grab more center and all that type of stuff in certain circumstances it works fine but also and uh, the opponents losing a bit of tempo it's not really developing their pieces at the moment so we're not doing too bad in terms of developing so they bring the knight across and we develop our knight and they attack our knight and then we bring our bishop just supporting ready for castling so they actually capture, gives space for our bishop, so it's got a nice bit of scope. And then we castle, king safety, but we did say that we really wanted to get our pieces over protecting our king somehow. So that at least we're protecting the king area. So we bring the bishop back, and then they move the knight, thinking, well, it's probably better just to take the bishop off the board because that was one that was potentially going to be sitting in our king's area and they actually took with the knight which I believe gave us a little bit of tempo in terms of being able to develop our own knight because he's squished in, he's squished in his own queen at this moment so smallest of um, minor faults I thought so then they decided to move the knight dead quickly towards our king area so they're in our king's zone in a sense you know in front of our king area so that was our concern you know them using some sort of fancy techniques to get in front of our king so we were worried about that we did fashion some sort of idea of bringing our knight back around to try and protect the area 
so we never lost lost sight of protecting our king area because that's what the opponent's going to focus on they're going to focus on getting a checkmate on you so we start attacking the head of the snake which is this so that's the head of the snake this is the back of the snake at the minute so one of those we could attack just to weaken that um, structure so they come down to support it but we want to open up the file so we grab and now we're starting to own the file I think it's a key thing as well understanding ownership of files especially with rooks that is their power base that's their bread and butter so long as there's no bishops like protecting the area uh, if there were like in the previous games um, where we've had bishops there we've not bothered actually trying to own that file with the rook because there's no point you're never going to get any play on there so we start now looking to bring our knight back around so that at least we're potentially protecting our king area. So we bring the knight up and bring it round as we said. So we practice what we preach and then they bring their knight back. So I'm thinking oh this might be an ample opportunity to get rid of that. That was one of the pieces that was going to cause us some damage. And now we can now attack unprotected piece here the queen is all by itself so it can't finalize any major attacks towards our king area so in essence that's job done at this moment in time it's plus 0.5 means nothing really um, so we grab and at this point here then we're looking to see whether we can double up or not it's showing minus uh, 0.5.6 5, 5. it's potentially because they may be able to that's what I thought they might have done try to do a rook move or something like that you know just to start the ball rolling they would then end up owning the file you know if we ended up taking so if we then went like this he could potentially take straight away yeah and then we take but then his rook would then come and face us here so that was the dilemma and so we didn't really want that so we didn't really want to be taking yeah but if they took, we would be not in trouble, but it's a, a worse case for us. They would be in better shape. But they decided to push a pawn, so I believe they um, missed a little bit of a tempo doing that, which allows us to bring our rook to support our rook, and then we're owning this file. Then they did another move, which was the queen move coming down, but obviously a smaller piece attacking a higher piece also we're doubly defending the pawn with the queen and the rook all small details that um, help make the difference in in my games anyway and the games that i watch when i'm watching other people playing they're using this type of met methodology uh, in order to win those smallest of advantages so now we're owning the file it's only 0.5 it's nothing neither here nor there so they bring the rook across so we capture and bring the queen across and it's a draw at the end of the day but the opponent resigned because they <laughs> obviously they must have felt uh, this is too much our queen is owning the file they're going to have to work really hard to try and jostle some type of advantage so yep yeah, so that's that's pretty nice clean cut game um basically about owning files also about protecting your king's area blocking off the attempts that the opponent's making towards your king and yeah really clean crisp game enjoyed that one okay 30 minute game zero increment let's oops excuse me let's take this off the board and we will leave that pawn now so we've got our pawn don't need to get another don't need to try and defend it and develop the knight think that's going to come I should have actually done this bishop move here so I'm too late to the party so I'm gonna to have to do the position I don't like Ugh. damn move too fast then he either takes the pawn or he comes down here and that's gonna cause us a bit of an issue so we're gonna to have to push this pawn don't like that position at all it don't look good it's gonna push onto the knight yeah. so he's actually gone that way so that's that's okay for us he's taken the pawn just bring the bishop here 
get ready for castling and castle king safety okay so it looks like they're a bit risk averse that might be that might stand us in good stead we might have to pull out some magician's tricks later on just to unsettle them a little bit So Rook's coming down, pushing on here. We could attack his bishop, but his knight is there at the minute. So we could attack his knight with this pawn. So it's a lot of pawn moves, but a small piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong in this situation. So he has to move. So X-ray through to his queen, that can't be wrong either. So we're developing the pieces, trying to catch up with ourselves on the board. He's looking to champion this pawn. Okay, let's keep that diagonal. Get a two on one on this pawn if he pushes further. So currently, they've got pieces that are stuck on the back that really aren't in the game at the moment. And they're playing as white, so they should be leading the game. But this is how we're attempting to lead the game. And he's moved the queen to the centre of the board. Interesting. Is he looking to come here? Is he looking to go behind the bishop? Then he's challenging this pawn. Don't really know what that was. We could move the bishop first just to um, keep the x-ray through to the queen. Give them something to think about. I think he's going here, but I don't see what trouble that's causing. Hmm, okay. There may be method in their madness. So instead of developing these pieces, uh, he's developed them now, he's brought them out. I'm going to bring the knight across, so it's doubly protecting, triply protecting the knight. He may be thinking that this pawn is the weak area, so he might want to be challenging that. But I think maybe the knight's coming out just to get into the game. Yeah, exact spot as well. Okay, so that's um, all good. This is doubly protected, so maybe the queen can come out. I'm not really a fan of this then attacking the pawn here because it just drops down. But when I've played it and played against the, you know, the ev eval, it always suggests, oh, we'll go for the B pawn. But my position is away from my king. He drops. There's nothing else. I'm not really a fan of it. Okay, so his rook's facing off, so maybe we can bring our rook here. Mindful he's got this bishop still attacking here, so he might be looking to do this. So if I move my rook here, then we've just got the king and the bishop protecting. So we do have an x-ray through to his bishop. So if we got a magical sort of trick, and if he didn't take, then we could take, and then we'd win the knight as well, because the knight would take back. But he doesn't so we'll grab here now we're facing his rook so we need to fashion a movement to get our queen back nice and safe obviously this is coming down so we need to just move the knight back again okay so he's going for small moves and I'm going to actually attack the knight attack the bishop attack the queen so the knight obviously is going to take back. Do we take back with the queen? Take back with the queen though. He does have these things here, but they're not supported at the minute. Take that with the queen. Queen is up. It's got a diagonal towards this spot. And um, then the knight can come here, attacking their queen. In fact, could attack the queen with the pawn being there. Maybe we'll keep the queen in the back and treasure it. Yep. 
Let's treasure it with the potential of coming here attacking their queen. Rook coming to face off their queen here, owning the file potentially. It looks like a half decent picture. Can see this, so that will allow us this anyway. I'll just say, oh well, we're going here. And they might forget that their queen is there. Nope. So he's looking to own the file, so we'll try and keep them busy by attacking the queen. So the rook's not gonna have rook may come here to own try and own the file. Does have the bishop there, which is a little bit annoying. And we have to be mindful the bishop is gonna be swinging here. Mm-hmm. We're trying to build up a story. We've got pieces in front of their king area. This pawn is protected twice, but he don't really want his knight being here, protecting here, because the rook is not owning the file properly. So where does the queen go? Queen goes here, obviously. It's pretty safe. Or does it stay on the file? It's not going to go there. It's not going to go there. Nope. Could always come here. So two spots, if it goes, goes, goes. Rook rushes to own and put pressure on the knight maybe, yeah. Then he pushes down the pawn onto our knight. Our knight comes here, maybe the bishop takes. Hmm, I think it's a move order thing, but it depends what the opponent does next. I don't want to overburn my brain. But if any one of those moves happens, then at least it's pretty straightforward. Oh, he's moved one space further. Okay, so he's um, x-raying through to this pawn. Yeah, with the bishop diagonal situation. Okay, right, so we could still go with the rook. His pawn's going to drop. But then if he does, we can take with a check on the king. But then do we have a safe square to come back to? can always come back here can't we, if need be okay let's give that a try have I overthought that situation what have I missed anything no okay let's go with the rook pawn drops but they're taking a long while now so they probably won't drop the pawn because obviously this pawn gets taken with a check This nice space here, knight can attack the rook, bishop takes, then the rook takes, but then, because this pawn is blocking, the bishop's not protecting the rook, so we can't do that just yet, because his queen is there. Is there any play here? No, not really. So it feels okay for us, but the opponent seems to be doing a bit of rope doping You know, they're sort of sitting back, and I don't want to overpress, but I don't want to underpress either in this particular game. <clears throat> so I've got to be mindful of the um, the free gifts that they might be giving to us, these spaces that look really good to us, and then we get our pieces trapped. So they've gone right into the tap. Oh, he's gone. So we could take the rook. He's attacking our pawn here. So do we really want to give him something for free? Not really. So I think we're just going to simply defend here. Queen's defending that area anyway. But I don't want my queen just sitting or under pressure to have to stay in this position. If it all starts kicking off. I think we've got enough presence here with the rook at this moment. So he's gone back with the knight, blocking his area. Interesting time. So, in essence, we could bring the queen here, couldn't we? And then if the knight is doing this maneuver, then if the bishop takes, then the queen takes, and then the queen takes, then the rook takes. Should we give that a go? Shall we stay on the white square or the dark square? He's got a white square bishop. 
is he wanting us to do something like that with this diagonal we've got the rook and the king protecting so go on a dark square but you know okay just thinking again so if we go there then he moves his knight again so maybe he moves his knight across here or something like that then he's on our queen with the rook Hmm. yeah that's potentially what will happen it's on our queen with the rook so then if we did jump here with the knight attacking his rook his bishop can take yeah that's not good the knight has to stay there but he's not going to stay there if we do that so I think we need to change that now it's a nice idea going here but not with the queen so if we did this with the rook and then move this rook here then that would be better that would be a better exchange I don't think we're going to have time to do it though we go up and then this pawn's going to come down then we're okay for putting a check here right okay fair enough that might work that might work let's try that we have the idea so maybe they've run out with their knight moves just bouncing backwards and forwards maybe we're on a white square though that's the problem this bishop's going to come here maybe we should have just gone to this one why didn't we just go there smallest of details But we're building some sort of attack. Oh, that was a pawn move. So we're quickly moving to this spot here now. He might now move his um, knight, but I'd just do an exchange of the rooks, I think. Although his queen would be owning the file, maybe we sit back and let them come to us if he moves his knight. So the grand idea is here, bishop takes, oh he's still got the queen going, right okay, so the grand idea then still stays I think, knight attacks the rook, bishop doesn't have to take though, the rook can just move, if the rook moves then we can take this pawn here and attack the bishop. Okay, I think we're going to continue with that movement. I'm going quiet now because of, okay so then the rook takes it's on the queen queen goes back or does it come no it's definitely going back so it goes back we could potentially bring our queen here for a three on one on this he's only got two pieces protecting so if the rook took but I think he'll move the knight. So if we move here, let's just, if we move here, he moves his knight maybe to here, closer to his king, feeling he's gonna be safe. We take his rook, his rook takes back, queen takes the rook, queen takes back, Rook takes with a check. Ooh, that would be lethal. Okay, let's give that a go. Almost an Alakine's gun. Queen's at the back of the Alakine's gun, but it's in the middle, so it's a semi Alakine's gun ish. What am I missing? Queen, 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 queen. No, 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 no. Knight definitely is moving, I think. Or well, maybe he just leaves it there. Is that better for him if he leaves it there? Does a pawn move something just to we take, rook takes, quick noise moved. Going to take.
he doesn't have to take though that's the thing but then we can take that's the thing with these move order things look at that now look at that it's going for the queen oh i didn't even see that ah oh, yeah 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 but we take with a check and then we move up and attack the queen it's going to be extra in through to the queen yeah all right no panic no panic Ooh. So he does take, so I'm going to take with the check and then put pressure on the queen. So he could take our knight, but no, 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 bishop, sorry. And there, yes, brilliant, brilliant, that, that worked out well. Okay, and they've resigned. Brilliant, okay, let's have a look at the analysis. So opened up, captured, left the pawn for more captures. Castle, king safety, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Gauge bar, I don't like anything that we're doing at the minute. It's saying white is winning. And bring the bishop back. We had rationale for all the movements that we had. So this is x ray through to the queen. And brought the knight up defending. So it's still showing white as winning. Um, obviously I didn't see that in the game I'm, think, I'm feeling fairly confident about what we're doing and so we bring the knight across now looking to get the bishop grabs, get a nice in, knight into a good position it's attacking three pieces, the knight, the queen and the bishop captures, capture with the pawn and it's now plus 0.1 okay. so we bring the knight across now attacking the queen and now this is where we started getting <coughs> A little bit funky just basically wanting to pressure that knight and that square maybe they would have been better probably taking the, the rook taking my rook I'm not too sure but then the, <coughs> the knights moved again and we didn't want the Queen being in this position we wanted the rooks there so that looked fairly favorable and then moving the Queen again it's very doubtful on that one so then we bring the knight across saying that there's probably a better one rook d3 what's that about rook d3 what but then the bishop takes it doesn't it what's all that about rook d3 bishop takes rook takes oh <laughs> Oh, look at that. So the queen has to take. He can't go there. He can't, he's got nowhere. <laughs> oh, look, that's awful. Oh, dear me. I think our way was better, though, because he's still got two rooks. He's got a knight. Yeah, I've got a queen and a bishop and a knight, but still, um, I think I would prefer what we did, I think. It feels a bit safer. So what does he do with his rook? He's going to have to move his rook, isn't he? yeah that's too much yeah okay yeah that's a nice way of getting the queen though i didn't see that at all um no my focus was on more simplification wasn't it so they brought the queen across oh that was a nice sacrifice though okay and uh, so we're scoring higher actually doing it this way than the way the computer showed hey never mind are we i'm just making sure we are There. so it said rook and it was like so that's only minus 5.8 bishop takes minus 6.1 that's getting the same as what we had and then minus 5.8 so the way we chose is better than the oh it's showing minus no no minus 5.9 no that's right so we'll go back Captured, captured, minus 5.9. Okay, it did show minus 6, but it's a similar, it's same then. Same scoring, but I like the position better on this one. If there's more, more compensation from this one. Grab, 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 and grab, yep. Yes, I'm very happy with that. Excellent. 
this small opening again see how we can get on 30 minute game okay similar type um, activity let's bring the knight out this time instead of round the side Fianchetto I cannot stand Fianchetto in so this is going to be a terrible game I'm doing something I don't like doing Ugh. it's so slow and horrible but I know the um, the sort of principles behind it so we hopefully can work with it <clears throat> and the opponent's just dancing in the center at the moment let's go for Fianchetto on the other side as well yep so they're just trying to control the center with the bishops and the knights so it all looks very clinical but there must be some gaping holes that need challenging I'm going to bring my knight here and now the head of the snake time let's go so it's going to be big fight with the pawns in the center you have a drops or takes and we take and so so long as my king feels safe I think this will be the power base that we're really trying to drive home and put pressure towards their king and he's not paying any attention to that queen can defend let's take we don't want to get too fancy keep it simple so we did the fancy bit by getting the pieces um, developed now it's time to just not dance too much with this system because we don't like the fianchetto type of uh, thing we really don't let's push here like we said try to open this area if we can they may ignore it but the more static it is the less effective the bishops are going to be because the bishops don't want to be biting brick they don't want to be <coughs> they don't want to be halted queen's down he's got a two on one here on the bishop on my on my knight so because he's got that I might as well take the knight out of the picture because I don't have anything else that can defend it I could bring the bishop back but I'm not really wanting to do that I'm trying to get some power base towards his king so in essence he sent my king my knight to the right place as far as I can see because it's going towards his king area his pieces have gone away from his king area if we take his pawn drops down then we can attack his bishop Fianchetto Bishop looking a bit lively attacking this pawn so does he drop it no does he drop there yeah probably drops there because that's better it's defending the pawn so I need to speed um, slow down my narrative because that makes me move faster and then I make mistakes so he's brought it there and it's got protection from his knight can't go there currently can't go there currently can't attack his bishop but it looks nice it looks nice in this middle so maybe we don't do that just yet so what do we have this knight doesn't it's not doing anything yet could attack the bishop but the bishop's got support so then we'd lose the knight we'd lose two pieces and this pawn here should be utilized really smaller piece attacking a higher piece if the bishop takes then we got the rook supporting as well so let's do that let's get this bishop out of the way what does it want to do potential value moves that's what we've got to focus on okay so the bishops move to this little corner here we could Smaller piece attacking a higher piece quite easily on here with the pawn. Or we could attack the bishop developing, attack the queen, sorry, developing the bishop. I think I like the bishop attacking there. Where does it go from there? That's the thing. It's a nice simple attack, but where does it go? So his queen can just go back, 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 and then he's attacking here. Somebody wants to be owning this file as well. So if I go here, then he goes there. His bishop is still on this pawn, 
so my rook is not going to be able to get into action. I'm going to do that for now though. No protection on this pawn. It's gone right back, so he's blocked his rooks getting into the game. Could look to double the pawns up, attacking his bishop. Is that going to be feasible? Knight could attack his bishop. I think that's going to probably work. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, but not when I'm releasing a piece like that. Mm. Oh, the queen's protecting, so if they forget themselves. Although I don't really want the queen. Yeah, never mind. Got to look active. If I don't, he's going to just start blasting us. So if we can get pieces off, then that's better. But it's probably just going to dance here. Queen's on the bishop, but the knight is protecting. Oh, everything's getting protected, isn't it? Knights come down, so basically, knights hunt the bishops. I'm not having a conversation about that. He's got a two on one here. So he may continue with the two on one. Although it's a minor piece that we've taken, so in essence, he should really take. It gives us time to push onto the knight, but the knight then is looking lively, outposting it in the center of the board oh that's a nasty position could even go here attacking the rook because he's got support and we come here mm. this pawn looks like it's going to fall because the queen's going to have diagonal here when he attacks I might have to do this but I don't really want to be in the center of the board oh dear I'm not sure why I don't look this move taking so long because we've taken a bishop off the board. Unless of course he's looking at better compensation in a sense, but it's not. Okay, so we go here. Knight drops down. What was happening again? We go here. Oh, we x-ray through with the bishop onto the queen. Ah, that's a whole, see it looks different when when the pe when the moves have been made then you can see it better sometimes so if we go here with the bishop x ray through to their queen his bishop is in front of us so we have to be careful of that thing that we always mention that the bishop can't put a check on the king and get our queen for free but it won't do because we're on the back is there another move that's a nice move because it's uh, pinning the queen and we can take it off the board is there anything else there's no direct access to their king it's queen supporting our bishops stuck in Fianchetto land what about this knight what about this knight knight up attacking Okay, so we could do that as an after one. So let's just bring the bishop here, x ray through to the queen. Potential value for that is that potential for. Okay, so that just means that the queen wants to move. And then if we do take, then his pawn gets elevated. So I'm going to continue with this knight move here to get it to here. not got a defender there though really has it is there a way of putting a 2 on 1 on this pawn there is you know put a 2 on 1 here with the knight hitting this pawn because we've got the bishop here as well but again it's simply defended by pushing the pawn but then we can take his knight off his bishop off the board but it is defended twice so his knight can take um, okay, so then we double up and attack in the center. All right, okay. I think we've got a plan of sorts. It's like double attacking. This the potential for this has got twofold effect. It's attacking the bishop here. It's attacking the pawn. <clears throat> so it's allowing us to give them something to think about. It's 
not saying we're going to win this file actually I'm not really focused on that aspect I think it's a matter of strategically taking these pieces off the board so he's, he's trying to own the file with the rooks so I'm going to take the bishop off the board Queen's going to take and I'll take and then his rooks looking to own the file that seems pretty straightforward to me oh my lord he's not done that he's not done that so I'm going to take the pawn here if the knight moves we take the queen so I've got to be mindful of that oh that was took oh oh I see I've got a bit of cleverness going on now oh let's grab damn bit of cleverness going on so if we take this port take this knight we're on his rook maybe we save the bishop maybe we save the bishop but then he's gonna get our bishop can't even put a check on his king mm. I think I'm gonna have to take the knight happened very quickly we knew it was going to kick off but it just went did total moves I didn't even put into my calculation at all there's nothing new there then why is it taking so long to make a move because really I mean that was pretty straightforward he's going to take that um, it's on my rook so we can attack but then he goes here but then the bishop will take so well, let's see, hope that he thinks he's being clever and then we can take the knight off the board but he's taking that long over the moves he's seen everything so we'll just have to sit back and he's moved the knight and has he moved it to a nice decent square or not let's go here Ooh, before I move let's see if there's any king business going on no okay let's attack the rook obviously he's bringing this here because he wants to keep owning the file mm -hmm. what's the situation oh it's even with the pawns at the minute it's got split pawns on this side yes yeah, so he's gone for that so we could just take it off the board is there something better really wanted a check on his king I'm not getting anything could attack his knight but then he just takes so I'm gonna have to take and get into attack mode of some sort so it's going up here I'm still trying to get that king Put a bit of a check on the king, or I could attack his rook. Put a check on the king, and maybe come here with the bishop just as a blocker. Yeah, I think that might work. Let's just bring the bishop here, and then we do have aspects of potentially trying to get it off. It does have a flexible knight though against the bishop. Uh, oh, it's um. I think if we do that though, he's just coming down, he's attacking the king. It's nice on a white square, could actually attack it. Could attack it, but it does have places to go, look at that. Could come round again. Mm. Tap the rook, he's not going to exchange, he's going to come down, move up. another check on we move this way and then that's about it for those isn't it then does he have some fancy knight and rook finish he starts pushing the pawns down let's see so let's see situation I'm taking the bull by the horns and I've not done a thorough calculation I, I think my king can go here from experience it can survive 
especially if this pawn is here because then the rest of these can't block my king unless of course he does some fancy knight maneuver to block me in oh, it's taken man it's taken right okay he's taken he's attacking he's an attacking beast let's go here need to get the king in up blocking off this knight because they can be a menace if we can block off those squares that it's jumping to them so be it all right let's go get this knight it's going to come here to try and get this pawn so we need to uh, make sure that that's safe enough and let's come here we can't even actually get the knight anyway so i don't know why i'm running that fast to get here because the pawn's defending it um looks like it's going to be a draw doesn't it could come and attack but then it just drops yeah it looks like it's going to be a draw to me yeah nothing to do Phew, okay that's fine I can live with that the only one that can tr attempt to try and make a difference is um, black now because we just have a bishop I know say a bishop um, wins the end games more so than a knight but he has to make some big mistakes um, let's go here I think if he was going for the win, he'd be moving the knight by now, trying to find some sort of angles to get our pawns. So he's attacking. If he comes down, then we lock down here. But we're not on white squares. I was attempting to try and get them on white squares, but we could never get away with that, with this one. And if we took, he takes, and then it's elevating his king. There's not much space for my king to move about, though, you see. That's the thing go backwards and forwards or leave that there and just move the bishop attack the pawn yeah, let's attack the pawn so he's moved the pawn don't think I'm taking here king takes king's right up in my grill we've split the pawns but then drops 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 what about here that's no good really is it it's no good let's come back and just protect these pawns is this going to be okay this position Knight, knight. Yeah, he can still put a check on our king anyway. Don't make a difference, does it? Nope, let's just go here. It's all up to the opponent as to what they do. That's going to make the difference. I like knights. I prefer. I'd pre I can work with the bishops as well, so they're both my friends now, you know. Um, in this sort of situation here, because the knights are flexible, they should be able to do something with this knight. But we can also close down the knight's movement. So he's pushed down. If we pushed up, he takes we take and then he's got the passer there so he's going to get a passer either way isn't it if I take his king takes makes no difference he's still going to get some type of passer if I move my king down just to do a move I'm just moving the king down to do just to do a move because either way he's getting a pass so I'm going to have to block it somehow that's what I'm thinking anyway 
I think if I stretch out, I'll lose out. So he may as well come to me and maybe we can jam it down a bit. I don't know. Boom, boom. So I think his next move is this. Because it's kind of forcing me to do something. And I can't come back to that square. Yeah, so his next move is that. So we get a passer if we take this pawn. Yep, so we take this one. Then he takes ours. Our king moves to the side here. And does his knight protect that pawn? Not really, no. So we get a passer doing that. Get a passer doing that. His knight jumps here. Then we suppose we could take this one off as well. Alright, okay, let's go with that. Let's take. So eventually they came to us and overstretched, I think. But like I said, it's all about what this knight wants to do now, really. So I can't take it when it goes here and is attacking the pawn up. So we push up, which stops the king from moving to that side. See, now this is interesting, isn't it? If we took, then his king takes. Then we take this pawn, he takes. Then we move our king up. His king can't come and protect this pawn, so we'd be able to take. But then he's got life to come down here. But is he's not going to be fast enough, is he? We'll be able to get those pawns up. So I'm actually going to take the knight, take the pawn, and then get the king here. And push. So is, is it a zugzwangy situation? He has to make a move that he really is going to put him in a bad state. If he pushes down, we take. If he moves his king back, we take. Oh, and they've resigned. Fantastic game again. Wow, I'm really loving these games lately. Absolutely brilliant. Analysis. So that's for a rematch, but um, I'm looking at the analysis now. Oh, my dears. Right, so went with e3. You know I'm an e4 man, but just trialing out this e3 situation just for something different. Fee and Cheto in my gosh, I don't like that at all. Okay, but yeah, I think you have to practice stuff you don't like doing. I mean, I practice bullet and blitz. I can't stand them, but you have to put yourself into uncomfortable situations because when you're playing games that just don't allow you to do what you expect to be done then you've got to learn how to fight in the in the chess match you've got to learn how to really dig deep and search for the potential value in the moves that you've got that's what I'm working on so the captured so bringing the queen down black is winning at the minute but from this particular move here it's over pressing so we capture and now start placing the knight, attacking the bishop. So I just want to see if there's any dips because we had our explanations for each and every one of the moves. So the bishop moves, so we attack the queen, attacking the bishop, bishop knights hunt the bishops. Doesn't like that, but I liked it, so it's not gone too far down. So it's now drawish, and this was like the quid pro quo situation now. This is where it all kicked off. <laughs> Bet you they were out and out winning at some point okay so then we brought the knight across attacking the bishop and the pawn really so we grabbed the um bishop i think maybe we should have been grabbing the pawn no that's okay that's fine we did it right Whew. okay so we grabbed the bishop grabbed grabbed and this is where it went bad yeah look at that Oof. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I didn't know it went that bad, but then they took the pawn. Yeah. Knight take. What is it? Knight takes b4, which is b4. The bishop here. Ah. 
Okay, yeah, so it was a little bit clunky, but the opponent obviously didn't make the right moves. We felt fairly comfortable in this position. And owning the file was a key thing, so then we started attacking and then bringing the bishop through to a nice position, making it an active bishop. So it's showing draw at the moment. Um, I'm glorifying in the fact that we found these nice positions in the first place, even to even hit a drawn position. Um, the only dip was um, that cluster in the center. That was a bit crazy. So I'll have to just rethink the movements next time. Okay, so the capture captured. So we worked out in a sense, potentially, we should be okay either with a draw or being able to jostle these pawns and key thing for me from this session was around not over pressing the pawns because we've done loads of end game practice um loads and loads and loads of end game practice during games and outside of the games as well and the concept for me is don't over press the pawns especially in this situation here you have to really look at the rhythm of what is going on so the opponent overpressed which was good for us so we could then bring our king down we don't have to do anything we just have to wait for them to punch themselves out and they keep punching so then we get a pass pawn instead still just showing oh plus eight at that point but um it was a draw at this stage so he should have just left his knight there maybe and it's saying G Sulava taking the H pawn with the pawn. Well, that's the sort of type of thing I was probably expecting. I was then expecting to move my king here, but then I was worried about whatever his knight could do. But it's just saying King G6. So then I would take and then I'll try if I could because I've got support with the bishop. Still showing a draw, but I'm playing against the computer, so let's stop there because <laughs> we ain't going to win. <laughs> so they moved the knight so then we captured and that's when we could capture worked out the rhythm and then at that point then it was like basically a zugzwang so if he moved his king we take the pawn and if he pushed this pawn down we take the pawn so yeah brilliant game good pawn ending practice